We're ready to go when you are. All right, sounds good. She's ready to go when we are. What's going on, beautiful, beautiful people? With service to New York. Our flight time will be roughly one hour and one minute. Please note the cabin door is now closed. We ask that you make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your larger devices are now shut down and stowed. If you have not already, please fasten your seatbelt and verify it is low and tight across your lap. Your tray tables and seatbacks must be in the full upright and locked position for departure. Cabin crew secure doors for departure. Uh, ladies and gentlemen from Flight Duggies, your captain speaking. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy, Blue, and we're back here in X-Plane 12 in the beautiful A320 Neo, my favorite A320 variant. And uh, I just realized the ground crew is not even here yet. What are they waiting for? How you guys doing in the chats? Happy Thursday to you. Oh, yes. I am ready to go flying once again today. We are flying from Pittsburgh to New York City over into JFK. It's going to be a really nice flight. Uh, we'll be able to see the uh, New York skyline and all that fun stuff. So definitely stick around. And also, of course, we are still celebrating the one year anniversary of the release of this particular aircraft on X-Plane 12. One year anniversary for the Tolus A320neo. And we're celebrating it by giving away yet another copy. We gave one away yesterday and we have another one for one more lucky person. So if that's you, Definitely stick around. We will be doing the giveaway at the end of the flight today. Once we land in JFK, uh, we will do our final random roll of those who are currently here in the chat at that time. So stay tuned for that. But until then, we need to get the aircraft loaded up. I see the ground crews rolling up to the uh, catering is coming up. The uh, baggage is getting here at the aircraft. But uh, I always really love the A320 livery for jet blue but and for that let's go ahead and load our passengers who do we have riding along with us today we got kavaya kapoor we got thunison we got hannah scott riding with us again welcome aboard good to see you really appreciate it uh kavaya is coming it's coming soon i'm working on it i'm working i'm working i'm working on it <laughs> uh let me make sure i got all the chat pulled up here uh, let's see make sure i got it i got it i got it i got it yeah I got it, I got it. All right, here we go. I was having some technical difficulties before starting the stream today, so hopefully they don't become an issue. Look at that beautiful Neo engine right there. Yeah, nice short flight today. Just about an hour long flight from Pittsburgh to New York City. And we got some weather too. I don't know where this weather came from. It's like actually cold and like freezing. So we get a little bit of freezing rain. Um, so we might have to deal with some icing along the way as well. So we'll keep an eye out for that. I'll bring music down here. You two got me, got nothing on me. What's up? Welcome to the stream. You're running late to the gate. Don't worry, you got time. You got time. We're still boarding. Am I hyped for the flight fight to 777? Absolutely am. Oh, yes. That's why I want to get my X plane straightened up, make sure it's working. So when that drops, I'm ready to go. It's a completely different sim, Jason. Completely different sim, my friend. Completely different simulator. Oh yeah, there's a window seat for everybody. Everybody gets window seats on my plane. All right, let's turn the sounds up a little bit. Bring that down. And we'll get the external power on. Battery on. 
arm is smoking. I have, I think, what did he say? One, three, and two. All right, here we go. And nav lights on. Good. All right, she should come to life now. We'll get those screens nice and bright for us. What's up, Emily? Welcome back. Lamar, good to see you as well. Off road, welcome to the stream. Oliver Rosick, welcome to the stream. Who else is riding along with us today? Let me see. Let me see who we got. Old school Mike is here. That's what's up. Money, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Greg Feaster's with us. Welcome back. Zach Hamilton's here. HDMI is in the building. Captain USA, welcome aboard, my friend. Good to see you. Call Me Sticks is here. Welcome back to the stream. You guys are calling me late earlier. <laughs> you sure were. It's all good. I definitely was. We are delayed. Kimi Raikkonen's in the house. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Looking forward to another F1 weekend this week. Hopefully, we have get some good racing. Hopefully, we do. FO Pilot Depth's in the house. Welcome to the stream. Dylan Coheta, welcome back. Thank you guys for joining us again. Thank you. Thank you so much. No gear. Welcome to the stream. Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to another flight, man. Looking forward to it. Very looking forward to it. Oliver Rosick, Tyler Aviator's in the house. Welcome to the stream. And Theo. Welcome to the stream. You're French. Well, bonjour. <laughs> Welcome aboard, my friend. Merci. Thanks for coming out. All right. Let's go ahead and get the aircraft going so we can get in the air. We have a giveaway to do, and we have flying to do. Um, real quick check, though. Make sure you guys can hear me all right. I'm going to kill the music here, and we'll bring that back up once we get in the air. Make sure you guys are still hearing everything fine. And I'm just going to double check that I have everything running here in the background uh, that I need running. I am using Volanta. Uh, Orbix Balanza app. To, oh, we got ATC. Oh, snap. Uh, actually, I need to get on to that sim. This is why I was like, let me double check. I didn't forget anything because I definitely did. And that was that sim. So let me go ahead and connect. Uh, we are call sign today JetBlue 116. I knew that was coming. All right, we got a PDC, pre departure clearance. Sweet. All right, so it's, it reads, uh, da -da -da -da. departure, Pittsburgh, destination, JFK. Our route is what it says. It doesn't matter to you guys too much. Uh, altitude 390, squawking 6363. We are cleared to Pitts 5 departure, maintain 5,000, except, um, oh, expect 39,000 feet, 10 minutes, after, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 119.875. And we'll contact that same frequency for taxi. So let's go ahead and put that in. Actually, we'll get the ATIS first on so 127.25. And then we'll move on from there. So what did I say? 125. 127. Old oh, school. New subscribers are. Love the beat of your videos. Thanks for the greatest content. Thank you so much, old school, for that. Uh, for that super chat dono thank you for supporting the channel man and uh welcome man welcome i'm glad to have you with us always uh welcome to have new people joining in the community love making new friends and uh you know one thing we can all agree on hey some of you may fly microsoft flight sim some of you may play dcs some may play x-plane but one thing we can all agree on is we all love aviation and uh and we can center around that and what's interesting too is that in real life sadly we don't most of us don't have a whole lot of friends who share this common passion this common interest and that's where youtube channels like mine uh and others come into play where you can have a community of people you can geek over without them judging you you know what i mean so anyways let's listen to the atis here in pittsburgh Four thousand two hundred standard temperature one two point minus one one altimeter three zero two six departing runway two eight right Multiple approaches in use. Arrivals expect ILS runway 28 left. ILS runway 28 right. ILS runway 32. Notices to air mission. Multiple crane terminal construction check current modem. Ramp is uncontrolled. Advise holding short of CTWO. 3. DTWO. 3. Boom. DTWO. 5. VSI expert anti vicinity pit. Read back runway hold short instant. Advise on initial contact. You have information kilo. 
Alright, we have Kilo, but I missed the beginning, so I'm going to re-listen to the beginning. Again. Pittsburgh International Airport, HF information, Kilo 1551 Zulu Special. West 310 at 11. Visibility 10. 4,200 standard. Temperature 1. 2.1. minus 11. Altimeter 3026. Departing runway 28 right. Multiple approaches in use. Arrivals expect. Right, that's all I needed. All seven three zero two six. Departure runway two eight right. We have information in kilo, guys. And uh, we'll be talking to Cleveland Center today. You came for the train sim content. Stay for the flight sim stuff. I appreciate it so much. Don't worry, train sim content is definitely coming back. Uh, that's a regular thing on my channel, so we'll keep that going. But flight sim is also one of my passions as well. You know, so. I just, you know, I hope to relate to some of you guys. Okay, uh, alright, so, for whatever reason, my flight initialization is not working. So we're going to have to put it in manually, which is completely okay, because, you know, sometimes we got to do that, right? Um, so, let's just run through that now. Let me go ahead and grab my flight plan. And, uh, please let me know if the background noise is too loud. It is a little loud outside. The door is still open, um, to the cockpit. So, let's see, uh, we are currently in... Pittsburgh, Kilo, Papa, India, Tango, slash, we are going to Kilo, Juliet, Foxtrot, Kilo, KJFK, that is New York City. Our flight number today is Jet Blue, Juliet, Bravo, Uniform, uh, 220, our call sign is still 116, that's just a flight number, uh, cost index is me 36, our cruise level is me 39,000 feet, so 390. What's up, Top Gun? Welcome to the stream. Ryan, welcome aboard. Ethan Bell, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Uh, you and me are matching hoodies today. <laughs> For real? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, let's go to IRS initialization. We'll align on the reference. That'll get started. It's going to take a few minutes. And we have to now go and manually put in our weights. So stand by for that. Yes, Kev, I am streaming also on YouTube, my friend. Yes, I am. We're flying jet blue. Yeah. I, I kind of wish I would have thought of that name first, but JetBlue became JetBlue came before Blue Games. But I do like JetBlue a lot. I like JetBlue a lot. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna total the screen here. We're gonna go to load performance. Uh, ground services should be good. Doors are open and whatnot. Uh, for fuel today, we need twelve thousand pounds. I'm gonna put twelve point one. Go extra, so twelve point two. That's good enough. Quick refuel. And for passengers today, we have a hundred and where is it? One hundred and thirty-two. So a bit of a light load today. Plenty of open seats. So if you guys want to hop on last minute, fly standby. Uh, it's a wide open flight for all the non-revs. So we'll do that. We'll leave the baggage as is. We'll hit apply, and now the aircraft is loaded and fueled. So we're gonna go up to our MCDU now, and we'll put in the zero fuel weight it gave us right here. So it's gonna be one two eight point four. That's 128,000.4. And then our CG is 29.3. Alright, that's good. We'll drop that right there. And then our block fuel, which is our total fuel for the flight, 12,200. So we'll put 12.2 right there. Alright, that page is now complete. And we'll now go back to our flight plan. Uh, we no longer need this for now. Man, it is loud out there today. Somebody must be taxing by. I think somebody's taxing by. Uh, do I have a pilot license? No, sadly I don't. Um, I want one. <laughs> I want one. Uh, TV Corbin, maybe we'll arrive at the same time. You're flying a Concord in JFK right now. Oh, that'd be really cool to see. That would be really cool to see. Really, JetBlue220 is your call sign on VATSIM at the moment? Did you... That's funny, Dylan. That's really funny. Uh, I just chose as a random number. All right, departure is... Uh, what do we say? 28 right is the departing runway. Uh, Pits 5 is the departure. No transition. Insert. We'll now scroll down the list here. We'll click on the flight plan discontinuity. 
and then we'll add in the rest of our flight plan. So our first waypoint is Echo Whiskey Charlie. It's the E W C. Type that there. Click right next to the third button for next waypoint. We'll click once again here. Actually, we'll uh, yeah, we can click on the last waypoint actually on E W C, and then go to Zorbo. So that's gonna be Zulu, Oscar, Romeo, Bravo, Oscar. <coughs> Sorry, uh, and we'll put that here on next waypoint. And then we'll do that again, click on the last waypoint, and go to our next waypoint, which is Bravo Foxtrot Delta. So BFD, we'll drop that into next waypoint. Yeah, plane just rolled up, that's why I was so loud. Uh, and then we'll click on the last waypoint again. Um, ah, I keep hitting the microphone. All aboard! My head clip. <laughs> uh, Hoxie is next up. Thank you so much, Chill Dog, for the subscription. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Another new friend of the channel. Thank you so much for... Uh, Hanging out with us today, man. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the, sh the flight and the stream, and hopefully it's a good, smooth flight. Uh, it might be a little bumpy, but hopefully it's pretty smooth. <laughs> uh, so Hoxie's up next. So that's going to be Hotel Oscar X-Ray India Echo. I remember back when I couldn't remember the, the alphabet like that, but now like, I just know it. Like I use it all the time. Um, like I'm on the phone with people trying to call me for like, you know, I don't know car insurance or whatever and they're like hey how do you spell your name and i'm like you know i give them the whole alphabet in like the military form and they're like are you from the military I'm like no uh, all right so next is uh our airway j70 i'm like i'm just a flight simmer <laughs> j70 but honestly if you're doing real real world flight training if you could learn your alphabet um i can't really call it the phonetic alphabet i think it was called um it will it will definitely fast track you talking to atc if you're not thinking about it. All right, LVZ, insert that, and then we'll click on our destination of JFK, and we'll put in our arrival, which is the Lindy 8 arrival, uh, and we're expecting runway 31 right. We'll see if we get that. Uh, if New York happens to come on, I don't I don't expect them to do so, but if they do, um, we'll know what to do. So Katad, I believe, will be our VIA. Yeah, it is. And that's it, no transition, insert. Let me go now and go through my flight plan. Make sure there is nothing that I don't want to be there. I actually do want this discontinuity there because from LaGuardia Airport, there's going to be a uh, basically vectors for the final. And everything else looks good. Yeah, also for departure, we have vectors uh, for our flight plan too. So we'll, it all looks perfect. All right, so that flight plan is now done. Let's go back over to our perf page now to get our V speeds. We'll now pull back up the TOLUS menu right here and we'll go on the same page for load performance we'll put uh, our config 1 plus F flaps departing runway 28 right there's our trim, there's our flex, there's our V1 speeds we'll type in 140 and 140 and 142 for our V speeds pretty light today, light on passengers, light on fuel Gonna be very light today. Uh, flex 72. Our flaps be flaps one slash our trim is up 0 0.4. So the same as yesterday. That should be good, right? That. All right, cool. And then our clean speed or our climb pre-selected speed will be two two one. And that is now done. We are basically ready to go. So go back and double check. So in it is good. We can do a win request if we want. I don't know if that's actually going to give us anything. Okay, it did. Uh, perf is good. Flight plan's good. All right, cool. Let's get the APU turned on and the fuel pumps on. Now that we're fueled up, ready to go. Five and six. And master switch on for the APU. And as you guys know, I like to go outside and listen to it. Oh, yeah. Yes, aviate before you communicate. Absolutely. That's why I'm not reading chat. <laughs> um, phonetic. That's how you say it. Thank you. Bariquas, trip report. Welcome to the stream. Welcome aboard, my friend. Hope you're doing well. You call it the crowbar arrival VOR to the final approach. Why do they call it that, FAH? Uh, how long did it take me to learn the FMC? I don't really know. Um, it came over time, I guess. I, I, I can't even remember when I learned to use the FMC. Because uh, the FMC and the Airbus and the FMC and the Boeing are very different, right? Uh, I would say... Man, when did I learn? There was most likely what happened was 
earlier when I was flight simming, when I didn't know how to use them, probably an Airbus release, like a, a you know a third party Airbus came out and I might have probably bought it. And then from there, I watched a tutorial on how to fly the plane, but that tutorial also included how to program the MCDU or FMC for your particular aircraft that I was flying at the time. So I'm pretty sure that's how I learned. And over time of flying the same plane over and over and over, I learned more about how to program it and things like that. So I'm pretty sure that's how it worked. I don't remember what plane that was that I learned on. I know that one of my first planes that I bought for X-Plane, which okay, X-Planes was my first flight sim, or no, that's not true. FSX was, but I didn't know anything back then. My first serious flight sim was X-Plane 10. And back then my first add-on that I had ever bought was the 767 from uh, Flight Factor, and I had to learn how to fly that plane. So I watched a lot of tutorials, a lot of live streams, a lot of content creators, um, and that's how I learned how to operate it and use that FMC, which is very similar to the 737 FMC. Uh, not exactly, but similar. So yeah, it just I, I learned it from YouTube tutorials, basically, man. Um, all right, we are ready to push, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I believe we are good to push at our own discretion and contact ATC when ready to taxi. We still have information kilo. Um, overhead looks good. IRS is all complete. APU is now on. We'll go ahead and disconnect the external power. We'll call out the ground crew and the pushback truck and tell them, hey, we're ready to push. Hey, Captain, let me know where you want this thing. News, we'll go Captain, back and we'll have them pull us forward. Um, I think he gave us 5,000 feet initial. Yeah, 5,000 feet was our initial altitude he gave us. And let's put the beacon light on. We are ready to go. Jet bridge, get out of here. Uh, you learn the FMC and MCD by watching flight sim streams. You watched him for almost a year before you bought the sim. Wow, bomb tech. That's yeah. So you really, you really did your research before you got into flight sim. That's the right way to go, right there. Uh, FAH says it's called the crowbar because it resembles the shape of a crowbar. Okay, that's cool. That makes sense. Uh, do I have a first planned flight when the PNG Trip Seven comes out? Mine is going right. to be Looks Transatlantic like Boston to Heathrow. You know, I haven't thought about that. I don't know. It's probably not going to be a long flight. It'll probably be a short one, uh, just so I can learn it and understand all the different phases of flight. Uh, and then I'll probably later, once I'm more comfortable with the plane, how it handles, how it works, how the systems work, I'll then maybe do a longer flight or a long haul. But my first flight is definitely not going to be a long haul. It's just going to be a, it's going to probably be a, a repositioning flight. All right, let's go into our uh, MCDU and we're going to remove the chocks. Ground services. External power off, shocks removed, and we are ready for push. Double check, see if ATC is still with us. Welcome aboard, Captain. Toes connected, bypass pens inserted. Go and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. Copy that, stand by. Ah, uh, yeah, he's still there. 19875. Right, I'm on the wrong frequency. That's why I'm not hearing anything. Six. Departing runway 28 right. Multiple approaches in use. Arrivals expect ILS runway 28 left, ILS runway 28 right, ILS runway 32. Notices to air. All right, there we go. I had the wrong frequency on a second ago. Okay, uh, what was the squat code he gave me? Squat code was uh, la 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 la. Where is it? Where is it? Um, find it. Why can't I find it? Equipment Pittsburgh. Okay, 6363. Okay, get out of here. Alright, brakes release, clear to push. Here comes the pushback. Light them up. Should be a less complex pushback than we had yesterday, but still um, not a basic push for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the flight attendants for a safety demonstration. When the people let it stop, please make sure that your seatbelts are fastened low and tight across your lap. 
To fasten and insert the metal fittings into one another and tighten by pulling on the loose end of the strap. To release your seatbelt with the upper portion of the buckle. We suggest What's up, Sanders? Ron FX, welcome back. We are in Pittsburgh. We are in Pittsburgh. There are several Pittsburgh. emergency exits on this aircraft. Please take a few moments now to locate your nearest exit. Alright guys, starting engine two. Your nearest or one. exit may be behind you. If we need to evacuate the aircraft, floor level lighting will guide you towards the exit. In the event that the cabin loses pressure, an oxygen mask will drop right in front of you. Press the floor box and pull the mask towards you. Place the firmly over your nose and mouth and secure the glass to stay on the high head. Head strap is necessary and is normal. Although the bag does not weigh oxygen is floor into the mask. If you're traveling with a child or someone who requires assistance, No, we should have pushed that way. I just realized it. Thank you to our lovely flight attendants. Alright, we got a good start on engine one. Let's start engine two. Done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. All right, brakes sets. Clear disconnect shows the pin. And we're disconnecting the tow. Give me just a moment. Uh, yes, I do. Tr you, I do use Track AR. Uh, and yes, there's a mega thread on the X Plane forum uh, where you can find literally like a hundred different. Uh, A320 Neo, 321, 319 liveries for uh, Tolis's planes. So it's actually pretty well organized there. But sounds to me like we have two good engines. Almost. There it is. Engine 2 is available. We'll set the ignition back to norm. Oops. Get the APU off. And, we'll set and we're disconnected. Signal and pin on the right. Take it easy and have a safe flight. Armor throttle. Yes, I'm using real world weather. I'm getting a little bit of, like a, a slight bit of precip. I'm not sure if you can see it on the stream. It's very faint, very small droplets of water dropping every once in a while. She's beautiful, isn't she? All right, I'm ready to go, guys. Let's get out of here. Uh, la 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 la, that's good, 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 good. Let's call him up, ask for taxi. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Grasp pull his arm, oh, seatbelt signs on. Taps her down, do flight control check. Let's do a flight control check. I think he just said he's gonna be back, so we gotta wait a second for, uh, for ATC. Back. Get my camera. I think he said he's back already. That was quick. 
Cleveland Center, Canada 500 at flight level 200, passing uh, Syracuse to Rochester. Canada 500, Cleveland Center, hello. Uh, after Rochester, proceed direct to Eman. That's Echo Hotel, Mike Alpha November, direct to the Buffalo Airport. It's fine, at Buffalo. Rochester, Zurich, Eman, Air Canada 500. Jeffrey 220, Olympia Mayor Space, New York Hotline. Alright, flight control check. What would you need to come out with? Blue 220, take you have a good one. Alright, we're good. Is that our uh, trim? Good right there. Clear, clear. Alright, take off, Pin 5. Ready to taxi. Oh, we forgot. That. Delta 5305, Cleveland Center, runway 28 right, taxi via Bravo. Auto break max. Via Bravo, Delta 23, outside. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, where are we at again? <laughs> it's burning. Cleveland Center, uh, JetBlue 116 is ready to taxi with Kilo. All right, 28 right, uh, it's a Tango, hold short, Bravo, JetBlue 116. All right, brakes please, guys. Let's go. Do I turn offs on? And tax lights on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome aboard. Today's flights non-stop service from Pittsburgh to New York JFK. Air Canada 500, cross Eman at 6,000, the Buffalo altimeter is 3023. All right. We do have another giveaway today. Can you repeat the, the first word, please? I don't understand that kind of Air Canada 500, cross, so cross the fix, cross Eman. That's the hotel picture direct to you after Rochester that I gave you. So that's Echo Hotel, Mike Alpha November at 6,000. A lot of radio chatter, but yeah, right. doing a giveaway. We're giving away this plane that we're flying right now. This is an X Plane 12 exclusive giveaway. To celebrate the one year anniversary of the Tolis A320 Neo. So looking forward to that. One of the best aircraft in X Plane 12 right now, system wise and visually. Pretty nice day, partly cloudy here in Pittsburgh. All 3026. I can't remember what the winds were. Oh, look who decided to join the chat. Nightbot, welcome back. There's a Delta over there holding. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. We're getting a little bit of precip on the windows. It's kind of like scatter showers in the area, but not a big deal. Uh, what about the jar design A330? I don't have it, so I can't say if it's good or bad. So I honestly don't know. I haven't flown a jar design aircraft since the A320 Neo back in X Plane. Continue taxi via Bravo to two A right. Continue taxi via Bravo to A right. Jeffy 116. I'm actually gonna follow the Delta. Nightbot is fire. Let's get a. F uh, actually, we'll do it when we turn. We'll do a drive-by view. Delta 5305, turn right, heading 360, runway 28 right, clear for checkoff. 360, runway 28 right, clear for takeoff, Delta 5305. Delta 5305. Alright, flight attendant, seats for takeoff. 
Nice short taxi today. Yeah, I agree, Andre. I'm also waiting for that new update from X-Plane, man. I mean, I'm working with what I got right now, you know what I mean? This is fine, but um, they're kind of advertising to have a very significant improvement to X-Plane in this next update, so hoping that it holds to be true. Yes, we are headed to New York City, guys, and we're going to hold short behind that Delta 320. I'm not sure where he's flying to. Jet Blue 116, runway 28 right, line up and wait with uh, 3001. 28 right, line up and wait, Jet Blue 116. All right, we'll obviously wait for him to, to go, but we'll get our lights on. Hello, Jose from Guatemala. What's up, man? How you doing? One of my best friends is from Guatemala. All right, he's rolling. So we'll line up. Penji, welcome to the stream, man. Welcome, welcome. All right, we are across the bars. All right, he is in the air. Let me see those airplane emojis in the chat for takeoff today. If you're just joining us again, we are on X Plane 12 for an X Plane 12 exclusive. Jet Blue 116, fly runway heading runway two eight right clear for takeoff. Runway heading to a right clear for takeoff. Jet Blue 116. Air Canada 500 contact. X Plane 12 approach. exclusive giveaway today at the end of our flight. Headed to New York City, JFK, Throttles Ford. Let's go, Flex. Airspeed's alive. As it should be. Uh, he gave us runway heading. We're gonna do just that. Uh, that beeping is us passing the outer marker. Or inner marker, whichever. Yeah, Antonio, you're right. I should have held the throttle into a V1. I noticed it. <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm already not touching it. So I'm just gonna commit. Alright, make a right turn. And fly by. Flaps up. Where my flaps at? I'm gonna zoom our hang out. It's definitely raining out here. Direct EWC. We are in the clouds. There's 5,000. The view of the gear was nice. I just hope it didn't hurt your ears too bad. Alright, we are getting some ice from that preset. Alright, roll out. Alright, get that nose up. Passing 6,000 feet, guys. I've uh, reset the alt alt uh, altitude to um, 39,000 feet. We'll switch to manage speed. 
laps are already up. Still flying by hand. Oh, Spike flies. You're uh, you're flying that Delta. Sweet. And you are headed to Laguardia. Cool. I'll be right behind you then. Gotta point the nose down a little bit. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Especially above the clouds. Because it's raining down there. Alright, here comes 10,000 feet. We'll hand it over to the autopilot. Hands free. And we'll go get the land lights. Alright, good to go. One more flyby. Oh, that's not good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, look at the crab. That's the wind pushing us. We're like flying sideways. How windy is it? 47 knots. Off the, off the left. Alright, let me turn the sound down so we can go outside. And I don't have to yell. Alright, so bring the sound down a little bit so we can go see the exterior view one more time for one more drift flyby. Off the fast seatbelt sign. There we go. We are out of here. Pittsburgh. We'll see you later. Next stop, New York City. Look at that view. Antonio, great question. What made me choose X Plane over Microsoft? I didn't. I chose both. I fly both, I enjoy both, there's a lot to be enjoyed and, and, and love about both sims. Uh, X-Plane was a sim that I flew for years before Microsoft Flight Sim came on the scene. Once Microsoft Flight Sim came out, I spent most of my time flying in Microsoft Flight Sim. Um, but there's still so much to, to love and appreciate still in X-Plane. Uh, mainly the, the aircraft that are available here. Um, and some of the, the the way they fly, like I tell you, like, flying the planes and X plane really do they really are a dream. Like it's not it's not just noise when people say, Oh man, X plane feels so good to fly, the flight model is so good. Like cause it is. Like and you feel the difference when you fly the planes. If you've never played X plane, you'll never under really understand that honestly. The biggest downside of X plane is it doesn't come with like its own, you know, world scenery like Microsoft does. But there are ways around that, and I, as you can see down below me, I do have uh, realistic photo-generated uh, scenery down below called Ortho. And uh, with that scenery, I have to download that separately. And it's a process, it takes a lot of space, uh, but because I spend so much time in X-Plane, uh, it's, it's worth it for me. So, but with Microsoft Flight Sim, you don't necessarily have to worry about that. You don't. That's just the way it is right now. That is just the way it is. So, I mean, if you're just getting in, a, in the flight sim, then, you know, you kind of have to pick apart what you like or dislike about both sims and possibly just pick one because you're just getting into it. Um, but for me, I was already I was already playing X-Plane before Microsoft Flight Sim, flight sim came up. That was my first, <laughs> you know? Like, oh, I mean, not my first. FSX was my first. But I was actively playing X-Plane when Microsoft Flight Sim came out. And so, you can't forget where you came from. And I already have my sim to the point that I really like it. Like I have, I don't have a ton of mods, but I have enough mods to make me really enjoy the sim. And that's what matters too. Like I, I gotta have my sim to the point that I like it and enjoy it. And it's not a horrible eyesore, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's, that's my thought on that. Willie Canuck, welcome back, man. Yes, enjoy the sim you have. That's what I always say, man. If you don't have X-Plane and you just have Microsoft Flight Sim, then enjoy it, right? Enjoy it. What's up, White Rabbit? This is the Tolis A320 Neo. Yes, it is. Uh, Antonio says he uses X-Plane because you're limited to Apple products, but was debating on Microsoft as a build as you build a computer. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing too. People can can forget that you know in, in the gaming space that people have Mac computers. 
Um, that's actually the reason why I got more involved into X-Plane first instead of FSX. So here's a story, real quick background on my flight sim, right? So as a kid, uh, there was an older version of Flight Simulator that I played on my dad's old freaking massive computer <laughs> uh, we got from Walmart. And I loved it, didn't know anything about how to fly anything, didn't know anything about how to navigate, how to find an airport. All I knew is how to use a keyboard to take the aircraft off, get in the air, press a button to activate autopilot, and it just cruises along. But I never knew where to go from there. So fast forward years later of playing GTA, <laughs> <laughs> and GTA being my main flight sim for a very long time uh, because I didn't have any other option, right? I had a console, I had a PlayStation, I played GTA, I flew planes in GTA, I was a part of a GTA fighter squadron. Uh, that's what I did, I enjoyed it. Uh, but anyway, so eventually I got a MacBook for school, for, for college. And on that MacBook, I was like, you know, I do college stuff on there, whatever. But then I was like, huh, I wonder what kind of games are on here. And then something, I can't remember what it was, but something was like, huh, I wonder if there's any, like, flight simulators because I tried to download a flight simulator before in the past on an older laptop but my laptop was nowhere like powerful enough to run a flight simulator and so I abandoned that idea so when I got a stronger MacBook Pro I was like huh let's see if there's a flight simulator on Mac so I searched flight simulators I found X-Plane 10 at the time ignore that that's just scenery um, and so from there I just stuck with X-Plane 10 all the way up to X-Plane 11 and 12 Thank you so much, Angel, for the subscription. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Welcome, welcome aboard. I hope you're doing well. Uh, and so yeah, that's how I got an X-Plane, is because it was the only flight sim available on a Mac. And then again, recently, uh, four years ago now, Microsoft Flight Simulator came out. Sadly, Microsoft only, on, and also on Xbox. And uh, I've gotten involved in, in flying that. And so now I play both. So that's, that's my story. What's yours? <laughs> and I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to it, but we're in the air. Uh, we're climbing towards uh, New York City. And let's see, let's check on a plane real quick. How high are we? We're passing 25,000 feet for 39,000. It's a very short flight today. We only have an hour and one minute air time. So it's not long at all. So we'll probably be up and right back down for our descent via the Lindy 8 into New York City. Uh, again, a reminder, we do have a giveaway today. I'm giving away this very aircraft. We're celebrating the one year anniversary of the release of this plane, the Tolis A320neo for X-Plane 12. And uh, so if you have X-Plane 11 or X-Plane 12 and you don't have this plane, you want to get this plane, definitely stick around till the end. When we land in New York City, we will start to pick a random winner to win uh, the aircraft and you get to enjoy it yourself. So, yeah, uh, Andy, which to get as a former airline pilot? Oh, that's a great question. You're a former airline pilot. You want to know which sim you should get? The question, the big question for me to you is how much do you care about scenery, right? I know that real pilots, when they go into the simulator, their sims don't look anywhere near as good as like mine <laughs> uh, as far as like the graphics and whatnot. Like there's a very, it's not basic per se, right? It's just... They focus on the systems of the aircraft in the real world, um, in the real airlines uh, simulator. So my, my, my question is, if, if you don't care about like crazy eye candy and all that fanciness, then if you're a real world airline pilot or you're like training to be either a real world airline pilot or a real pilot, X-Plane might be a better option for you. But you need to understand when you get X-Plane, uh, you, you you have the entire world right you get an entire world to fly around all the airports exist it's just they're kind of like default airports they're not like in dca you won't see the exact same terminal building but you'll see a generic terminal building in the place of that um with gates and stuff like that and then the scenery itself is kind of like auto gen as we call it just kind of placeholder buildings and like generic looking trees and stuff like that so that's what x-plane looks like by default which is not what i have right now uh, you can upgrade and download free ground imagery but it's going to take you hundreds of gigs of space all right so i'm just breaking it down for anyone who's considering getting in the x-plane what you're gonna you may need to do to get into it um for me I have, like, I'm an eye candy person, but I still like X-Plane still, right? But, so I need to have my ortho, I need to have my scenery, and that's very important to me. So if you're a person like that, where eye candy, visuals, 
um, graphics, scenery, if all that is a, like a, a big deal to you, Microsoft Flight Sim is probably your better starting option. You can, listen, you could always still add on X-Plane to your Flight Sim you know, list. Like you can have two Sims, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but to get started in the beginning, if eye candy and all that is a big deal to you, go Microsoft Flight Sim. If that's not a big deal to you and you care more about the aircraft systems and how the aircraft handles, um, then X-Plane. And I know that there are people who go who go either way. Um, so yeah, it's just FYI. Um, is there somewhere that you've posted what you've downloaded for X-Plane? No, but I, oh, look at that. It's like a, a weather front right there. That's kind of cool. Those clouds actually look pretty good. Yeah, let me go outside view. Um, no, I don't have a list right now. I can just tell you right now what it is and you can like make a list yourself. Uh, but right now, add-ons I'm using right as we speak, as we're flying, is number one, the main thing on the screen, the TOLIS A320neo, that's T-O-L-I-S-S -S, A320neo. Now, the same developer also makes an A319 and an A321 and also an A340 and they're soon to come out, or I shouldn't say soon, in the future, they're coming out with both an A350 and an A380. Um, but yeah, so this is the A320 Neo, we're flying right now. Uh, other add-ons I'm using in this, see, in this uh, live stream is my scenery, so uh, down below us, you can't really see it because we're in the clouds, but I have the orthogrammetry stuff down there, it's called Ortho 4 XP. Ortho, the number four, XP, X-Ray Papa. And uh, that's a free software, made by the uh, someone in the community that allows you to download basically photo imagery for literally anywhere in the world so you can build photo imagery yourself uh, for whatever regions or areas you like um pittsburgh airport i was using a freeware air um freeware scenery for pittsburgh uh, you can just search explain k pit you'll find that and then we're flying to new york and new york city when we get there you'll see that the airport is made by nimbus simulations so uh, i'm being a bad streamer, I don't have all those links in the description as I should usually do. <laughs> but uh, if you have a hard time finding it, you can always hit me up and uh, I can I can get it to you. Yes, Ron FX, there's another giveaway today. Absolutely. You're passing 34,000 feet though, almost to our top of climb. All oh, right, spoiler's still armed. That's fixed. Uh, there's a price for the aircraft. Yes, this aircraft costs how much was it again, chat? Uh, it's 20% off this week uh, for the uh, celebration and all that. Let me find out. I had the link up yesterday. I, th I want to. I don't want to miss misspeak. It's not cheap. <laughs> How much is it? It is, okay, so regular price, the plane we're flying right now is $89.99. Uh, and that is compatible with both X-Plane 11 and X-Plane 12. Um, but right now it's on sale for $71.99. Now, if you're new to flight sim, that sounds very high, I'm sure. Uh, if you are flying on X-Plane or on P3D, that's a very regular price. Uh, it's, it's usually priced pretty high. When you get into Microsoft Flight Sim, thankfully, the aircraft and scenery, everything is, is priced much lower because there's so many more people uh, buying and, and, and flying on that sim. Uh, does Ortho also update the terminals? No, it does not. Uh, Ortho is only the ground texture, like the, like the visual ground texture. It doesn't affect any 3D objects. If you want to get a new terminal, I would search the airport you're looking for um just on like search x plane space the airport identifier or the airport that you want to get scenery for and just do that and you'll find it the one if one exists yeah very similar price in in uh in uh prepared uh, p3d blowing you just hit mock 2.2 are you still flying the uh the concord right now in the jfk what is the typical rate of climb vertical speed for airlines? Uh, from what I understand, like around 1,000. Like 1,000 to 1,500 is a typical climb. Right now we're doing 1,000. But we're going to level off pretty soon. And for descent, I would say about the same. 1,000 to 1,500. Uh, once you get 
higher, that's when your ears start popping really bad because the pressurization of the aircraft trying to keep up with the um, the aircraft's descent rate. And that's when your ears are hurting. So yeah, Andy in chat says 1200 feet per minute is about uh, average. Uh, the dad, you're playing your dad flies is an Allegiant A320. That's pretty cool, man. That is really cool. Love to uh, meet your dad and chat him up about the plane. <laughs> I love talking to real world pilots about these planes. I like That's how I learned too. We talked earlier about like, how do you learn how to use the FMC, the MCDU, stuff like that. And I'm like, well, for one, I watch other, you know, live streams like this. I watch YouTube tutorials, but I also, you know, as you kind of, you know, mingle with the community uh, through Discord or wherever, uh, you meet real world pilots who fly these planes and they're usually really open to like give you tips and say, hey, this is how it's actually done. This is how I do it when I go to work and stuff like that. And so that's how we learn. We also have uh, multiple uh, members in our community who live stream as well, who are also real world pilots and I learn a lot from them. They are just open books and I love that. You don't need scenery for X-Plane? Why not? I need it. <laughs> I need it. I need it. British Airways too. I'll keep an eye out for you, man. If I see you on the radio. And if I switch over to 2.2.8. Should be good. Yep, we're on unicorn, which is funny. See, I think I have a, a, a view for outside, don't I? Yeah, there it is. Andy, you started flying at 16. You were a flight instructor at 19 and an airline pilot by 23. Bro, that is amazing. That's the way to go right there. I think a few people in chat might be able to relate. I know some of you have your license already or you're working on it. Have I ever used programs like Air Hauler 2 for Microsoft Flight Sim? I did only a little bit. I used Air Hauler more when it first came out for X-Plane. And then around the time Microsoft Flight Sim came out, I started using it for Microsoft. But I didn't use it too long. Uh, for whatever reason, I, I became uninterested. Um, now I'm using a different program called uh, A Pilot's Life uh, by Simbit World. And it's it's you don't manage your own airline. You're more playing the role of an airline pilot and you go and you get hired by different airlines you get paid by different airlines depending on who you're flying for stuff like that's pretty fun i'm doing a whole series on it and to answer some of you guys' question who've been asking about when the next video is coming out for the series part nine i'm still the, the answer is still the same i'm still working on it i wanted it to be out like last week i also want it to be out earlier this week that proved to not be possible due to other things in life that i'm trying to balance at the same time um, and so uh, I'm hoping to finish it today. Um, and if I finish it today, I'll probably release it. Either. I'll probably release it Saturday if I finish it today or tomorrow. Because I got a we got today's stream in explain. We have tomorrow we have a DCS World stream, and then also tomorrow we have a Flight Sim Expo um, exhibitor reveal stream that we're doing. So there's a if you guys are not aware, Flight Sim Expo is coming up in June in Las Vegas. It's the biggest flight sim event in-person event of the year uh it's been amazing the last few years that i've gone and looking forward to go back but they're doing a big reveal live stream to reveal all of the exhibitors and people who are going to be a part of the event and so we'll be doing a uh, a reveal live stream on friday uh with a few other uh youtube content creators and be discussing the event what we're looking forward to stuff like that so definitely come through and, uh, and check that out Lonely Fireman, what's up, my friend? Loving the views from, I think that's Ottawa to Vancouver. Yeah, that's a good flight. I need to do that flight again. I need to do that flight again. Old School Mike, you purchased the 777 to fly cargo for FedEx. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what are we going to fly in DCS tomorrow? I think I'm going to stick with the F-18. Uh, I want to make sure that I am combat effective in that jet i don't want to jump around jets too much right now i want to make sure i got it down in the f-18 and we'll switch to maybe the f-16 again but yeah planning to fly the f-18 for me you can fly the f-14 if you want emily um but i'm not sure what map we're gonna do yet but maybe we'll, maybe we'll do persian gulf again i like that last week that was pretty fun 
We'll see what the servers look like in the morning. Uh, I do not. Oh, do I? I might have the F22 installed. I can't remember. The sky colors are looking not bad, right? Not looking too bad. It's the thing that when I don't look at X Plane for a while, and you know, then I come back and I'm like, you know, this is not as bad as everybody's saying it is. <laughs> But I am on ultra graphics, so I don't know how you guys are dealing with the lower graphics settings. The cloud's looking okay. It's supposed to bring more improvements in the next update too, so. Uh, my call sign is JetBlue116. One thing you gotta figure out, Emily, is you gotta figure out your radio in the F. Because uh, last time, I think we were trying to contact you on the radio, and uh, we couldn't. I think you were just kind of behind listening to the live stream. But if you could figure out how to get your SRS working, man, so we can have our own communi communication channel tomorrow, that would be perfect. Uh, my system is away. What do you mean? What do you mean? You're an OnlyFans pilot? Nice. How much do they pay? You probably get paid really good <laughs> for that. Wasabi Nobby, welcome to the stream. Andrew Cunningsing, welcome aboard, man. How are you doing, bro? Welcome aboard. Skull Valley RP, welcome to the stream. So you guys know something I watched that's hilarious yesterday? Uh, you guys, do you guys know Civ Ryan and Bugs? I'm not sure if you guys know those guys. Uh, if you don't. They, uh, they do a lot of GTA RP. Uh, Ryan mainly does GTA RP, but last year he got into flight simming too. And he, he went from knowing nothing in a flight sim to like being darn near like ready to fly a real plane. So I was super proud of him. But I got to meet him. Uh, I got to meet him at, uh, what did we do? I saw him at Flight Sim Expo last year, but I also saw him at, the heck was that thing we did? The uh, World Flight. We did a World Flight charity event. Uh, he came out to that and we did like share it cockpit. I don't think I didn't fly with him, but he was flying with a different crew. Either way, they posted, in my opinion, one of the most hilarious GTA GTA RP videos yesterday. Uh dang it, what was it? <laughs> I was just watching it before the stream. I can't remember. Uh dang it, what was it? Oh, I got beeped. Yep, yeah, there he is. I got you. I got your text. What's up, Albert? Welcome to the stream. Andy, uh, you're in LA. Expo is in June. I think June 20 or something like that. And it's in Las Vegas. Yes, Top Gun, I built my own PC. It's my first time ever building a PC. I was very, uh, <laughs> I was very intimidated, but I made it, made it happen. I got to be a dub. Data, nice, man. I hope you can, bro. I hope you're feeling better, too, bro. Yeah, I mean, now that I have my X-Plane, like, working again, um, and we have some pretty cool planes coming up, I am honestly looking forward to flying X-Plane more often. We're still going to do both, obviously. Like, I'm never going to give up Microsoft Flight Sim. I'm never going to give up X-Plane either. But anyways, yeah, they have a really hilarious GTA RP video you guys should definitely check out over on the Civ Ryan or Bugs channel. And a lot of the other OCRP guys... Uh, made videos. I've probably watched five different videos from the same scenario from different perspectives because it's set hilarious. So, anyways, a little plug for my, my, my dudes over there at OCRP. Shout out to them. I don't, I, as far as RP, I don't do GTA RP myself, but I really enjoy watching it. It's, it's weird. Like, I've been watching it for years. I've been watching various people. Um, for years and years, just enjoying the content. I like watching it, like I'll work, I'll be at work and I'll just have GTRP running like a TV show, you know? And then also I like watching some of the funny scenarios on TikTok too. Uh, can you see my setup? You get a passion of you, absolutely Noah. Let's see, let's, I like this one better. Let's do, uh, what y'all want on the wing, in front of the wing or behind the wing? Oh, I like that one. Never mind. Executive decision. <laughs> Let's get that. 
That's kind of dope. That's dope. We'll, we'll hang out right there. Uh, we won't be. Hold on. Let me. Heck. Uh, we're 40 miles from top of the scent. Let me just dial in my top of the scent and we'll come back in a few miles. Do not let me get too distracted back here. Anyways, um, I don't have a camera on my entire setup right now, but yeah, I can, I could, at least I could show, I could do that. Yeah, hold on. We we'll use it anyway for landing, so I uh, might as well do it now, right? Since you don't like my face, it's okay. You, you can just tell me you don't like my face. I'm okay with that. You know, this face ain't for everybody. <laughs> Uh, do I ever make a group of people to, to leave in the same airport? Yeah, the group flights happen all the time. Um, I don't really like do, I don't really make my own events like that. Um, it's kind of like, hey, if you're available, if you want to fly with me, you're free to fly with me. Um, I know some other streamers um, will have, you know, 10, 15, 20 people fly with them when they depart an airport. Or sometimes there's events that are happening on the VATSIM network where like New York might be the featured airport and everybody's flying out of New York for the next three hours or something like that, where it gets crazy, crazy busy. So you have that happening pretty often. In fact, I think they had a Jacksonville event yesterday. Uh, we flew out early, but it did have an event. All right, let me get that for you. Thing is when I change this view, I gotta keep resizing it for TikTok. Kind of annoying. I'm probably sure Stream Deck could do something about that, but I haven't uh, took the time to figure it out. So um, for the setup today, guys, for those who are asking, I have the Thrustmaster um, TCA Airbus pack. That's my go to flight control setup for any time I fly Airbus. And um, which is on my left, I have the joystick and the side stick on my left. I have the throttle on my right i have the tpr rudder pedals in front of me and then for my chair which you can't really see in the frame it's kind of hard to show the entire chair because it's like a whole chair uh but the chair is by next level racing i have the flight simulator boeing chair it has a nice fluffy seats on it uh it reclines all of my flight sim gear actually mounts on it it's really nice matter of fact i have a discount for all of this stuff if you if you do decide to buy it, I always tell people, if you're going to buy it already, like use my discount code because you're going to save, I think, is it 5%? I want to say I had to check my it's in the description. All the all the info for that is in the description, but I have discounts for the flight gear, discounts for the flight seats um, and a bunch of other stuff for flight sim that I've been thankful to be able to collaborate with these uh, these developers. So it gives you guys some discounts. So, um, yeah check the cockpit again because our cockpit sense coming up yep we're going to uh, click manage descent for 19,000 feet that's our bottom of the scent over LGA and then uh, we'll start a descent any second uh, your third international airport Ian Fleming International now has passenger service from America American Eagle Envoy AAA <laughs> American 4007 that's cool that's really cool. Uh, would I ever fly with viewers in a shared cockpit? Yeah, yeah, I would. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit picky about doing shared cockpit with people only because I need to do a test flight with someone first. Like I can't just go out there for the first time um, and just, hey, hop in the cockpit, let's go fly together. Like I want to make sure that our systems are working fine together. We're not getting stuttering. We're not getting crashes because when you do shared cockpit, so many things can go wrong. Uh, and even with the people that I know that I've done it with, so many things have gone wrong. So, um, Albert, Philadelphia to, I think that's that either San Jose or San Juan. Remember which one that is. So, uh, we'd have, if we do, a if I, if I did a, a share a copy with somebody, I'd have to do a, a whole test flight. And that's where the whole scheduling thing comes into play. That's why you don't see me doing more shared cockpits more often because it's like, you know, I don't know, it's just tough. To, to, we're all busy people, but it doesn't mean I don't want to do it. I definitely like it. The shared cockpit experience is so freaking dope. Like if you haven't experienced that before, like it's so satisfying, especially when you're doing it right. When you got, when you're flying with someone who knows the flows, who knows what buttons to press, 
and all that and then you know what buttons to press as well like it goes so smoothly Captain Canada did a barrel roll in his last shared cockpit why <laughs> Uh, I think I, I actually did too. I had a shared cockpit I did with Shadow. It was actually a multi-crew. It was Shadow, Geo, and me. I believe Geo and Shadow were actually pilots flying, and I was just in the jump seat. And something happened with our connection, and then we ended up doing a barrel roll and crashing and dying. So that's actually clipped somewhere. I don't know where, but it's clipped somewhere in the, in the internet. Uh, it was hilarious. Definitely a moment to remember last year. Ted, what's up, man? How you doing, bro? Welcome back. Uh, actually, I was going to ask you. I'm going to ask you publicly, so now you have to say yes. I'm just kidding. You don't have to say yes. Uh, but tomorrow, I am planning to do DCS again. So if you'd like to join me, I think Data said he may be available to join us as well, as well as Emily here in chat, and hopefully a couple others um, do some flying in DCS. Okay, definitely use the backup. Uh, do I still fly GA airplanes? Yes, I do. I love flying GA airplanes. I love flying GA airplanes. Um, yeah, answer is yes. Yeah, yeah, it depends. You gotta get make sure you got a good connection. That the the program, it's just so many things that can go wrong in the shared cockpit. But that's not a reason not to do it. It's just a reason to make sure it's working correctly before you go and do it in front of a hundred people. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's going on, little snow booty? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> or is it snow booty? Either way, that's a hilarious, hilarious name. Yep, no problem, Ted. No problem, bro. Uh, Flight Simmer, you new to X-Plane. Haven't gotten the courage to fly on VATSIM since still learning the basics. Hey, take your time, man. Take your time. Don't rush into it. Have I ever played on the Shadow Reapers DCS server? Never heard of it. Um, I'll have to look into it before we go. Uh, maybe, maybe I can look at it tonight and see if I can find it see if uh if i like it unless money has a, a mission we can do on our own server we have our own server not sure if you guys know that but our squad has our own server <laughs> so if we have a mission we can run on our own server i would definitely prefer to do that i see you hd thank you man for riding along bro hopefully you're enjoying this the smooth ride while you're working i'm sure x plane or, or microsoft flight sim both Nice side gaming has been on jury duty. Dang, I haven't done that in a while. I really hope I don't get called for that anytime soon. All right, we are descending, guys. We're just joining in. We are descending into New York City. The JetBlue 320 Neo. Again, once we land, we will do the giveaway. Hoping for a nice butter landing. Hoping for it today. Nice short flight though today. Got lots to do. Uh, so another thing I haven't really announced. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna be streaming this or if anyone is gonna be streaming this. But Saturday, I am planning to join a group of guys to uh, drive in the 12 hours of Sebring. It's a race that happens every year, and it's a endurance GT endurance race, and um, it's 12 hours straight driving around the Sebring racetrack, which I think is in Florida. And uh, I'll be one of possibly four drivers sharing the same car as we split ourselves up between four hours of driving uh, day, night, um, rain. <laughs> so I got to practice for that as well and make sure I'm not the weakest link in our, on our team. Sean Smith, you didn't <laughs> yeah, man, welcome back. Good to see you. Air Force One just took off from DFW? That is cool. Uh, yeah, we were talking about that yesterday, right? About TFRs and about the president coming out to DFW and Houston and all that. So I guess he's headed to Houston now. Uh, I did see your message on, on Vpilot. Again, I don't know. I'm not making promises to do any uh, shared cockpit. Would I like to do it? Yes. I just, ha I just have to make sure I have time to, to prepare for that. But I'm, I'm definitely down. Definitely down. Yes, no gear on iRacing. I'm doing 12 hours of Sebring. 
you know, I was, I, so we had, so uh, I don't want to say who he is yet, because I don't know if he wants people to know. Um, I'll, I'll leave it for him to announce, but uh, it's another flight simmer, actually, that is into iRacing. He also does, you know, flight sim, and he reached out to me because he saw that I was playing iRacing as well, and we put some speed brakes out. And uh, he was like, hey, man, we're looking for a third guy to drive uh, the Sebring 12 hour. And I was like, yeah, I'm down. Um, but then I also was trying to think, all right, what's well, 12 freaking hours? We need at least four people. I was like, who do I know who can drive well? And so I thought of you, No Gear. I thought of you, but you're on ACC. You're not on iRacing. Uh, so I was like, well, I, I thought of someone else. So uh, I did think of someone who is on iRacing, uh, who's pretty up to pace, probably around my speed, maybe a little faster than me. Um, but, but yeah, so I would definitely have, no gear, you would have been my first, if I ever do a endurance race, um, and need another driver out, no gear would be my first guy I would reach out to. Only issue is that it's a different platform. Uh, I got you into sim racing? How did I do that, Rick? <laughs> How did I do that? I don't even really stream racing much anymore. I really don't. I would like to though. So I'm, I don't know. I'm considering streaming that, um, or at least my stint. Um, we'll see though. Oh, we driving the LMP2 car. So I've already done a couple races in the rain for practice and this is pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Just want to get my speed up a little bit. Need more practice. Need more practice. No, no, no. I'm not disappointed at all. All I'm saying, No Gear, is that as much as you're racing, bro, you need to come on over to iRacing. Not exclusively, but you need to have an iRacing subscription so that you can both drive on ACC and on iRacing uh, and drive for uh, ZRL and all that stuff like that. Liberty traffic, United 1064, Yeah, oh, wow, you got into uh, to racing for my F1 days. Wow, that was way back in the day, Rick. Like, I haven't done an F1 uh, live stream or, or content in like years, bro. Like, that's like one of the first things we did on my channel was the F1. Uh, we did an F1. No flashbacks, no replay, full length races, like basically F1 hardcore mode. That was fun, man. I enjoyed that. I did. I would like to do it again. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and get back into the flight. So we are descending into New York. Let's find out what the weather is. So that way we can prepare. We can also uh, brief our arrival and all that. We'll do that first. Let's go ahead and brief our arrival. Put our us on that screen. And I, you guys should be able to see Navigraph. Yeah. All right, cool. So Navigraph is up. So we get our charts. So you see our little pink arrow. That's where we are. Currently descending via the Lindy 8 arrival, heading towards Lindy. Here is LaGuardia. And if I click on the Lindy arrival, we can see where we are. So it's going to be 19,000 at 250 knots at Lindy. We'll stay at that altitude and then start descending with vectors from LaGuardia. So what I need is the weather for JFK. That's where we're going. We'll go to weather and then see the weather is 300 at 18, gusting 28. Uh, visibility is cleared like 10 miles, few 6,000. Temperature is 04, dew point minus 12. Altimeter is 3012. No sign of rain, uh, but it is gusty. And we might hit some rain on the way in. That's what I'm thinking. So. Uh, we go ahead and hide that and we can put those numbers into our mcdu so we go over to the uh, perf page next phase and what was that 3012 so 30.1 temperature da, 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 is four And then the winds are 30018. Now I pr I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but I usually put like what the gusts are to kind of kind of be prepared for worst case scenario. And then the barrel uh, for our decision height for the ILS of three one right is 212. Two one two. There we go. I don't know why it still says enter destination data, we just did it. All right, that's good to go. Uh, 
All right, sweet. Approach speed to be 137. All right, so from here, uh, we're about to start. We're, we're about to approach LaGuardia, and from here, we'll descend down to uh, our arrival. I might start doing that now, honestly. Yeah, I started descending now because it's pretty far out. 3,000 feet. I got my mini FCU right here that I can use. I can hit, boom, 3,000. We'll start descending. Dylan just landed at JFK, buttered it with a 76. But it is fairly gusty. Nice. Hopefully, I can do as good as that. How does the Microsoft Flight Sim performance compare to X Plane? Your X Plane runs no higher than 25 FPS on a good day. I would say Microsoft Flight Sim runs better performance wise than X Plane in most cases, uh, at least in my personal experience. But only a little bit better. Only a little. So 3012, we'll put that in here. All right, boom, there it is. All right, we're descending and approaching LaGuardia. Let's go outside. This, oh, look at that. Look at that. What airport is that right there? It might be, um, it might be, uh, not Stewart, but what's that other airport in, uh, in New York? The, the one with all the business jets. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my gosh, look at the city of New York and Manhattan. Look at all the buildings. <laughs> Teterboro, yeah, Teterboro. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So over there should be Newark. Yep, over there off our right wing is Newark. And then here is Central Park. Wow. Wow. I'm always amazed. I've flown to New York many times, but I'm always just like amazed by just how freaking busy it is, man. Jesus. And we're flying over LaGuardia now. There's LaGuardia Airport right underneath us. Right, you can see a plane landing, actually. That's so cool. And then JFK is right off our nose. Now we're getting great FPS right now. <laughs> like it's it's still really smooth, which is why I'm so blown away right now by how good it is. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Uh, there's an option clip uh, in SimBrief to change from the regular black or white view to the uh, like uh, map view. Uh, nothing extra that I've downloaded or anything like that. Can't remember where it is though. But it should be in one of the options for the map options for, for Navigraph. Yep, the Hudson River back there behind us. Uh, oh, good question. Is this the first flight I've done into New York City on my on my new computer? I don't think it's the first. I think I've attempted it before. It's the first in a long time. It is the first into JFK. That's for sure. Because I, I attempted a while back, but I didn't have my settings correct or something, and it like I was getting really horrible FPS, horrible stuttering. And that's honestly the experience that I would normally get in the past flying into New York or JFK is just horrible FPS, horrible stuttering, just a slideshow, unplayable experience. And that's the reason why I have honestly, in, in the years of flight simming and streaming, I've avoided flying into New York, JFK or LAX and Heathrow. All the big, big popular fancy airports, I, I haven't flown there because of uh, the horrible performance that I would get there, but right now that is not the case It's actually looking I mean it's looking as smooth as it was when we took off in Pittsburgh So there is New York JFK right there. We do have custom scenery for that place And what runway are we landing on? 
you're not what what my gear's not down that's weird all right let's descend descend Does landing gear not down locked? Cycle gear. Let's try that. Alright, I think it worked. I think it worked. Uh, what route would you recommend someone new for their first vet sim flight? Where are you from, Flight Simmer? Where are you from? Uh, ETA, we're almost there, man. As long as it takes me to get down, <laughs> this is how long we have left to go. We're almost there. Gotta get lose some altitude. We've begun our final descent into New York. Flight attendants will be passing through the cabin to collect any trash one final time. Please ensure tray tables are stowed in future in the full upright position. Please also store any carry-on items either in the seat back pocket or under the seat in front of you. Let's see, what route could I recommend you to fly in? Because you're, you're, if you're Swedish, you're going to want to fly in Sweden somewhere, right? Right? Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, I know I'm right. The so Sweden is right next to Norway, isn't it? Uh, I would say, I don't know, just fly into either Oslo, Stockholm, or Bergen. I mean, fly one of those. Just pick, when you fly there, make sure it's not really busy, though. Like, don't fly in there when it's really busy. Uh, fly in when it's like pretty light traffic. ATC is not bogged down by a lot of people. So that way you can make mistakes. That way you can ask questions. And you don't want to ask long winded questions on, um, on VATSIM, right? You don't be like, hey, how kind of stuff you don't like, you should never ask ATC how to fly your own plane. I don't care what plane you're flying. If you're on any VATSIM or ATC network, you should absolutely never ask them how to do something in your aircraft you should already know how to do it before you go on so first of all make sure you know how to fly your plane and fly it well so if they ask you to, to to change your waypoint or change runways or vector you and change heading change altitude make sure you can do all that stuff uh questions you should ask atc is like you know for example uh how many miles should i contact you if you know if it's just tower online or um like ATC related questions, stuff like that. And if you don't say the perfect, correct thing, you know, they usually will understand what you mean and they may correct you, which would, and then would actually would then hurt you, would not hurt you, would help you. Uh, if they have time, they will. All right, we're making a right turn, basically 180 to come back to the airport. We're currently flying over the water obvious you're very welcome flight simmer i know what it's like man i know what it's like if you want if you're more comfortable you could take off from an airport that does not have atc and fly to an airport that does have ATC. Um, but what honestly might be easier is to start at an airport that does have ATC. So that way you can go through doing your IFR clearances. Um, if you have anything wrong in your flight plan, they can correct it then before you get in the air. I think I would recommend doing that instead of flying into one. Uh, how do I like these rudder pedals? I love them. I absolutely love them. They're expensive, but I mean, you pay for what you, you, you get what you pay for. And it's the same true for Logitech and the same true for these right here. Uh, these are expensive, but they feel expensive and they work well. So they're butter smooth too, man. Butter smooth. All right, we're in arm approach mode. We are uh, 17 miles out. And I guess we can start making calls and stuff. Should I use CTAF or regular Unicom? What is CTAF? I don't really like CTAF, guys. Um, I feel like I should I should like it, but I don't. The, the whole new CTAF thing they're doing in the US, I don't really like it because 
I just feel like I'm talking to myself. That's why I don't like it. All right, 119.1. I'll use it though, since I'm streaming and I'm supposed to be a good example. <laughs> uh, but I'd rather just have a universal frequency like 22.8, like we've had for years. So that way, you know, it's not just the two people or no one in New York City. Because the only time I feel like CTAF is really gonna like be worth it is at airports like JFK, where it's like a big major airport. A lot of people fly here. Uh, if I fly to freaking, I don't know, Asheville, wherever the heck that is, uh, or Corpus Christi, Texas, like somewhere that's not a major popular destination, um, most cases, if there's no ATC and I use CTAF, ain't nobody listening. <laughs> so, um, at least if I'm on 22.8, if a guy is landing at an airport nearby, they'll hear me. I can make calls and whatnot. So anyways, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm going to make a call. Where we at? New York City, uh, 12 miles to uh, three what, airport we're landing. You all right jfk traffic for uh jet blue 116 is on a 11 mile final uh three one right pick it yeah that's where we're going what up mahmoud welcome to the stream okay guys we have a giveaway coming up once we land in jfk we're gonna do it just the same way we did it yesterday where we're gonna try to do the landing replay and give away at the same time. All right, land lights are all on. Now we'll ping the cabin. We are 10 miles out now. Flaps coming down. About to meet the ILS. I'm gonna kill the music. I'll turn the sim map back up. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. And hopefully we can get us some butter today like we did yesterday. That landing yesterday was good. I don't care what nobody say. That was a good landing yesterday. I was happy. All right, here comes a glide slope. Aircraft's going to pitch itself down. And as we get closer to the airport, I may be less responsive on the chat. So just let you know. In case I don't see your comment. Alright, let's go another notch of flaps down. And I am going to take over the speed from here. I think our VRF VV approaches 137. 2,500. And let's go gear down. Yeah, I did see that. We did have a gear problem earlier, so let's hope that we don't have an actual gear problem. It was a weird warning we got earlier. Um, I'm hoping that we don't have a, a failed gear. So we'll, I'll try to put it down as soft as possible, keeping that in mind. Thank you for reminding me. All right, let's focus here. Five mile final. Laps full. We're parking with JetBlue today, so it should be just off the left when we, uh, after we land. Looking good, looking good, speed looking good. Uh, let's arm our spoilers. Pull his arm. Here is down and lock, three green. We'll go uh, auto brake medium. Four mile final. All right, send in your, um, Predictions, what do you think for our landing rate? What is your landing rate prediction? Uh, my prediction is going to be a... My goal is going to be a sub-200. That's that's my goal. Not my prediction, but my goal. <laughs> What's up, Van? No, we are in a Tolis A320neo for X-Plane 12 today, man. No Microsoft today. We might do Microsoft next week. We'll see. Landing in New York City, baby. You guys don't believe me, do you? 278, 375. Ouch. All good. I just gotta prove you wrong, that's all. 
190, I'll take that. New York JFK traffic, Jet Blue 116. Now, short final, 3 1 right. New York. All right. We'll take over at 500. Here it is, 500. My controls. All right, let's do it. 400. A little bit off center line there. Smash the nose down, jeez. I don't know about that one. All right, 60 knots. Manual braking. Let's get our nose on steering. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New York. The local time is 12.51 p.m. And it's currently about 39 degrees Fahrenheit. You can now use your mobile devices. Dang, it's 39. It's cold. Remember to use caution when opening the overhead bin as items may have shifted during the flight. We thank you for flying with us and we hope to see you again soon. New York, JFK traffic, JFK 116 is clear. Uh, 3 1 right, tax in the parking. New York. I'm gonna go this way. Alright, flaps up. Where is he pushing back to? Like, do you push back through the grass and onto the taxiway? The heck? Yeah, we really abused the front gear. Uh, what sucks is that we're not going to get a reading on how hard the front gear touched down, just the main gear. So I'm still hoping that the main gear wasn't too bad. I had to kind of make a small adjustment towards the end because as we got like underneath about, I would say, uh, 100 feet or so, we started getting pushed by the wind pretty aggressively. And that's why you saw me fading to the right, fading to the right, and then I was trying to adjust it uh, to the left. We'll take the spot he came out of. So 2-7. We'll do the Marshall Cam. Alright, let's get Marshall Cam out. I don't think there's an actual Marshaller here, but oh well. Alright, let's do it. I'm gonna shut off the right engine on the way in. Let's go. Yeah, we floated too, you're right. Two more. Right there, that's good. A little crooked, actually. Yeah, a little crooked, that's okay. That's okay. 
All right, a fuse all on. We'll shut the engines off at the break. And welcome to New York JFK, guys. We made it here. No stutters, no crash. This went way smoother than I expected, to be honest. Tyler! Blue, do you know the TV show SWAT on CBS? Uh, I think I do. I think I know the TV show name uh, called SWAT, I believe. What about it? <laughs> well, thank you for the super chat donation, man. I appreciate you so much. Uh, yes, Panda Boy, this is X Plane 12. And we're actually about to give away this plane right now here in just a few seconds, or a few, a couple minutes, as we get the, uh, Reese, not the Reese, the, um, as we get the replay ready. And I'm gonna give you guys what we got on the landing. Let's see. I don't know, I don't feel confident about this one. Okay, 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 we'll have to watch the replay. We gotta, gotta check with the referees. Got to watch the footage when we watch the replay, but it says we got a 146 on the main gear before that nose gear came down at 500. <laughs> uh, we got a 146 on the landing rating. Uh, flight time was 59 minutes, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. I'm happy. I'm happy. 146. Yes, sir. Sub 200 is all I wanted. It was sub 200. I don't ask for much. I'm just asking for a nice, firm landing at sub 200. That's all I want. So, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and hop off of that sim, guys. And we're going to get prepared to do the replay and the giveaway. So stand by in chat for the special super top secret um, uh, code word you're going to put in. Now, the way this is going to work is if you're watching, no matter what platform you're watching on, you need to come over to the YouTube live stream chat. And that's where you will type in the code word. You're going to type exclamation mark and then the code word that I give you. Uh, and then, uh, a couple minutes later, I will then roll a random winner from those people who type that word in. Now, a couple rules. Do not participate in the giveaway if you do not have X-Plane, because this is an X-Plane exclusive giveaway. If you don't have X-Plane, you have no use for this. It will not work in your community folder. It will not work in Microsoft Flight Sim. So make sure you have the sim all right or have intentions on getting the sim like today or tomorrow um i'm gonna need to get your email via discord so you got to make sure you are in my discord channel you should be able to see if nightbot is working today uh i'm gonna type and put it in right now you should be able to get it from exclamation mark discord let's just make sure this is working if it's not i can send you the link let's see if nightbot responds i don't know if he will doesn't look like it. Oh, wait, there it is. Nightbot has responded. Uh, and yes, I'll put chat in slow mode as well. How do I do that? I've never done that. Moderation activity. How do I do slow mode? Or is that a... Is that a thing I do over here? Here, I found it. Slow mode. Alright, got it. Alright, slow mode's activated. So that way, you, don't, you do not need to spam the code. You only need to type it in one time, all right, chat? Let's just keep just get that clear. One time. All right, on new games. Giveaway, let's see if this works today. Oh, yep, it's good, it's working today. If XP's watching, it's working. <laughs> um, all right, cool. So, it's time, guys. It's time again, you heard the rules. You know what to do. Come to the YouTube chat, type in the keyword. Keyword today is exclamation mark <laughs> butter bus. All right, go for it. Exclamation mark butter bus in chat. If you want to be in the giveaway, throw it in there right now. You got just a few minutes while we attempt to watch the replay <laughs> there it is butter bus baby all right let's see if we can get the butter bus to do a replay for us today but oh, you guys are handling that all right please work this crashed for xp yesterday it worked for me for some by some miracle let's see if it works all right, i'm gonna click on it okay it's working 
It's working. It's working. That's this is good. This is real good. It's working. It's working. XP, are you watching? It's working. <laughs> Everything is working. Okay, great. Okay, let's do my favorite view. Belly cam for the win. For the win-win. And play. All right, you got just a couple more minutes. If you're just joining the chat, you want to be a part of the giveaway for the Tolos A320 Neo X-Plane exclusive. Type in f mark Butterbus. Only need to type it one time. Only need to type it one time. If you've done it already, you do not need to do it again. Let's see what this land looks like. Hold on, let's watch this landing and then we'll do it. I flared quite a lot too in this landing. So we're center, we're center, we're center. We fade to the right, fade into the right, fade into the right. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Come down the left gear. It wasn't that bad. Even the nose gear didn't come down as hard as it looked in the inside view. I'll take that. I'll freaking take that. Alright, get from this angle. Let's do uh, this side. Best side, best side. The parking lot. Thank you, wrong side. A couple bucks for some boozeroo for the weekend, my man. <laughs> Thank you, uh, the wrong side. I appreciate you so much, bro. Appreciate you so much. Glad to know you. Glad to have you a part of the community. All right, guys. While this replay is running, we will roll the giveaway right now. Stand by. All right. I'm going to hit play. All right. Here it is. All right. Let's see who's going to win this thing. Let's see. All right. Space Mark Butterbus ends in three, two, one. Our winner is Tim. Just Tim. That's his whole name. Tim. Where you at, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, Tim. You have won this bird right here, the A320neo oh! by Tolis 4X Plane 12. I just need to know a few things. Are you here? Do you accept this prize? And do you have X Plane? That's all I need to know, my friend. Let me know in the chat ASAP. But huge congratulations, my friend Tim, for you. It is your lucky day, man. Of all these people, all these people, and yet you won. Yep, there it is. You have X Plane 12. Do you accept it, man? Do you accept it? Congrats, Tim. I just gotta, I gotta know you accept this gift. That's all I need to know. Make sure you guys be good sports about it and congratulate Tim on his victory on his dub today. Not every day you win a giveaway. <laughs> Unless you're like, I don't know, magic or something. <laughs> Is waiting to hear from Tim. Make sure he accepts it. Hey, I've explained 12. Yet yeah, less is more. <laughs> less is more. No fancy name, just Tim. <laughs> hey, you gotta be who you are. Alright, he says yes. Alright, bro. All you need to do, man. All you need to do is make sure you're on my Discord. If you're not already, let me make sure you have it. Let me make sure that you have it. Uh, I'm gonna type in the chat, estimation mark Discord. I need you to go join that ASAP. ASAP, I need to join that ASAP. Uh, and then once you join, um, you should see my name. Go ahead and click on my name, send me a DM. It says like you got a request or something. That's fine. Um, just in your message, say, hey, I'm Tim from YouTube or whatever. And I'll confirm that you are who you say you are. And we will, um, yeah, we'll get you your 
Get your, your your aircraft, bro. And let me check on one more thing, real quick. Let me check my messages. Okay, cool. I wanted to make sure we had the winner from yesterday because if I, if I didn't find him, uh, I was sure about to give that one away again too, but he did contact me. I was having trouble finding him. So cool. We have two giveaways. We've given both away. I can't believe we give, give, gave, did the giveaway today in the first attempt. It usually takes a few tries uh, to find a person, but Tim, Huge congrats, and also uh, Rhyme Rhythm Music, the person who won yesterday, huge congrats to them. And also, huge congrats to Tolis, uh, the maker of the 320, on their one-year anniversary of the aircraft. That's a huge uh, deal. Making an aircraft is not easy, and uh, I'm looking forward to what they have coming in the future. Well, guys, the plane is still 20% off if you didn't get the giveaway from me or from one of the other creators. Uh, you know, you can still go pick it up for yourself um, on the X-Plane store, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'm going to get in contact with Tim and get him his prize. Same thing with Rhythm from yesterday. And uh, until then, guys, we're just going to enjoy the landing in the beautiful Jet Blue 320 Neo here in JFK. Uh, what do you guys think? Rate my landing. How good or bad was it? Was it a, you know, out of five? What, what would you rate that? Uh, Charlie, you're getting the Airbus Captain Pack in like two weeks. Is it good? Yes. You're going to love it, man. You're going to love it. I've, I've been... I have... I, my, my pack does not get dusty. I fly it so regularly oh man i gotta say guys landing an x-plane is so satisfying it seriously is like let's, let's watch it again right let's watch it again uh slow chat is still on i can turn it off now sorry <laughs> let me turn it back let me turn slow chat off because it was, it was, yes, it was on. Uh, here it is. Slow mode is deactive. You guys can be as crazy as you want now. 4.3? Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, let's watch it. So just, I mentioned this yesterday, but like pay attention to the way the entire aircraft reacts to the way it touches down. You're going to see the no, you're going to see the gear. It's going to compress. And you're going to see that same energy go through the wings, go through the body. And even when it bounces, it doesn't like bounce back in the air, gain lift, and try taking off again. It like it properly just kind of like settles down. And that's something that I notice when plane spotting in real life compared to the sim. Um, that's missing in like Microsoft Flight Sim still to this day. So I'm hoping that Microsoft Flight Sim will fix that in 2024. Look at how we came in on an angle. So we had a wind pushing us from right to left. Um, and I believe I had to make that last con like look how angled I am right here. I had to make a last minute correction because uh we were starting to starting to drift off the runway a little bit from that gusty 30 knot wind. Uh throttle and side stick, yes, I have both. I have the throttle and the side stick, uh Andy. Yeah, I love landing an X-plane. Like doing it physically and watching it is, is a whole new thing, man. Here we go. The right's gonna drop. And I, I kind of slammed the left gear down. So we still put the nose gear down harder than I would like to, but. I think yesterday's landing was smoother, even though it gave us a higher like landing rate. I feel like yesterday's landing was better than today. All right, let's grab it from, uh, we'll do it from over here and we'll get like a tower kind of view. Charlie, what's up, man? Thanks for stopping by on uh, TikTok, bro. Welcome. Why was someone from the keyboard factory fired? They weren't putting in enough shifts. Ha, 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 ha. That's good. That's a good dad joke. You double bounced in Memphis last night. It sucked, but it was so satisfying. <laughs> hey, man, you know, it happens. You see how the wings like they don't flap, but they just like they properly flex as you touch down. It's it's nice. It's, uh, yeah, if when I can get a good landing in X plane, I, I can't help but watch it back 20 times, man. I'm sure you guys are the same in any sim. 
honestly, it's the same way with Microsoft Flight Sim. When I, when I have a good landing, I, I have to watch it over and over and over uh, until I'm sick of it. Yeah, first flight in the JFK. Yeah, my first flight in the JFK uh, in X-Plane. Yeah. You see me pull the nose up? We were kind of falling a bit quickly, so I'm trying to bring the nose up to slow down the descent kind of towards the end. So I, I made a few small adjustments. I mean, it wasn't the perfect approach. I'll, I'll give you that for sure. Let's do a wing view now. I'm like around there. Dude, let's do behind the wing on this left. Let's do that right there on the wing. We'll do on the wing for this landing. Uh, I do use OBS. Yes, I do. And I used to get a lot of stutters as well. Thank you, Ram Ramen, for the hearts, man. Appreciate it. I just saw him. Sorry, I'm late. Got you, Tim. Yep, I got your message, Tim. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you after the stream is over. Um, Andy, were you asking? Uh, yeah, so I mean, if you fly a lot of Airbus, you fly Airbus often. I recommend the Thrustmaster TCA Captain Pack, Airbus Pack. If you fly majority Boeing, I would recommend getting the Thrustmaster Boeing Pack. If you fly more like GA planes, uh, I recommend getting Honeycomb. Um, I have all of them now over the years of getting them, and I would not recommend getting all of them <laughs> at once. It's really expensive. But uh, yeah, those are the kind of things that I would recommend based on what you may fly. Now, if you fly helicopters, it's a whole different thing. A whole different control set for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 320, then, yeah, Andy, I'd recommend getting the Thrustmaster Airbus TCA pack. And there should be a link on my TikTok profile. Uh, if you go to YouTube, you can also find the link in my YouTube description. Um, I should have a discount for it um, if you're looking to buy it. I think it still works. If it doesn't work, I don't know. <laughs> right, let's do some right wing view. I'm telling you, when you have a good landing, you gotta just you gotta soak it in, man. You gotta. You can't just watch that thing one time. Made a short flight, so we're gonna spend the next hour watching the replay. I'm just kidding, we're not, but. <laughs> Sean, what's up, man? You're so jazzed. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you for coming out. Yeah, VKB is a good option as well. Thank you, Sherwin. We just did the giveaway, Critic. You just missed it, bro. You just missed it. I'm sorry, man. I am sorry. You just missed a giveaway. Um, hopefully we could do more giveaways in the future. I don't have any giveaways planned for the near future, but hopefully, um, you know, we can partner with someone else who wants to do a giveaway and maybe we'll do that. What's up, Unanimous? Welcome to the stream. What version of Microsoft Flight Sim is this? None of them. This is X-Plane 12. Right, let's just do one more. I want to get a view of like, uh, I'll see if we can get a view of New York on our next view. Let's see. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe this wasn't meant to be, man. This wasn't meant to be. Uh, where is New York? I think it's in front of us. Yeah, I believe it's in front of us. Let's do a threshold cam. We did float it, I think. We can, oh yeah, oh yeah. This is going to be the view right here. This is going to be the view. Again, this is a custom scenery for X-Plane by Nimbus. Oh my god, look how far off the center line we were. Embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, we were way off the center line. That's what I was trying to correct, but I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to get better at making those last minute rudder corrections. Because we initially came down right on the center line, but then floated and that put us on the side uh when are we gonna do more taxi life very soon actually i just recorded a video last night so uh, 
yeah, I expect to see that coming out soon too. Are the real world departure and arrival routes included in x -Plane? Yes, yes it is, Andy. You know what? Our we really didn't fade to the right until that right wing dropped down. Did you see that? Watching the slow mo. So we're coming down. We're coming down. We're center line. Like we're looking good. I mean, we're not perfectly centered, but we're we're close. And then you'll see my right wing kind of go off to the right. And then I start fading, fading to the right. And then you're gonna see me last minute make a pretty aggressive uh, change to the left right before a touchdown like right here you actually see the plane losing lift and falling out of the sky and right before that we switch to the left smack from the ground yeah so uh i'm wondering if i just caught some kind of gust or if that was just me was that my input that put me over there or was it Gus? Because I did touch the rudder, and a lot of times when I touch the rudder, I end up going the way I don't want to go. Look at the Empire State Building in the background. Yes, I have rudder pedals. It was gusting 30 knots, so I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we got hit by a gust. Wouldn't be surprised. I don't know, man. Just bad timing. <laughs> Glad you made it out. Hopefully you can catch, get, it, uh, get here a couple hours earlier next time. Uh, again, guys, uh, plan for the rest of the week. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be back in a fighter jet flying DCS World. And then also Friday, later in the day, we'll be streaming a uh, Flight Sim Expo Exhibition Reveal stream and discussion. It'll be me, Captain Canada, QA Pilot, XP72, uh, a few other people. I don't want to misname anyone who's not going to be there. Um, it'll be a good time. So definitely come by and join the discussion. And I hope I get to see you guys at Flight Sim Expo in June in Vegas in person. One more time, guys, for the culture. Jump in the chat, say hi. Give you guys a quick shout out, and then we out of here, guys. Let's go. Yeah, do it, man. Come through with the gripping. That would be helpful. Uh, time is going to be noon Eastern. Noon Eastern. We'll be live noon tomorrow Eastern at 1600 Zulu for UTC. Uh, I fly the F-18. I fly the F-16. I fly the Apache. That's basically it right now in DCS as far as what I'm good at. <laughs> um, but I have the F-14. I have the F-15. I have pretty much everything, I just don't fly them actively. Yes, Emily, get your SRS working. We can uh, communicate with that. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, well, Baba, thank you. Unanimous, Austin Piper, Andy Kimball, one, two, one. Point Niner, thank you, man. Jose, sincere Emily, I appreciate you. Deuce Legend, Mr. Avello Flight. Yeah, we gotta do that. We do. Mikey D, thank you so much. Uh, professional, thank you so much. Nightbot, thanks for coming into work today. Jose, Tyler Berg, thank you guys very, very much. Really appreciate you guys coming out. Again, huge congrats to our winners, our giveaway winners, Tim and Ryan Music. Thank you as well. Brian Harris, what's up, man? Flight Smack. Looking forward to seeing you again at Flight Smack, well, bro. Let's make it a yearly thing. <laughs> Let's make it a yearly thing. Looking forward to it. Well, guys, that's it for me. Until next time. Remember, you have three choices. Give up, give in, give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. We're going to watch the replay one last time because, ah. You know what? Let's do it for my favorite view. Let's do it for my favorite view. Let's go. Belly camera. One last time. I'll leave you with a full approach into New York City. 
three choices. Give up, give in, give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.